Hi, my name's Benjamin Bonetti. I'm a celebrity life coach and hypnotherapist and author of How to Change Your Life. How to leave a purpose-driven life. What about a legacy? When we talk about life purpose or uncovering who we actually are, it's important to understand that it goes beyond just goals and what you're doing in your day-to-day -day life. We need to think about, or you need to think about, the legacy beyond your current lifetime. How are you going to be known once you've left? Will you be remembered as someone that's grumpy, happy, someone that was hardworking, someone that was fulfilled? It's important that you make changes today to ensure that your legacy is bigger than just some goals, your financial freedom, the house you live in, the children you have. Think about your legacy today. The legacy and your planning is your blueprint to your very existence, the true you, your identity. When starting any of my seminars, I ask the delegates who they are. Sure, people come back and give me names. I'm Ben, I'm Roger, I'm Trish but that's not who they are. It goes much further and deeper than that. Grab a pen and paper and write down a list of who you are. You may be surprised at what comes out. You are more than just your physical being. You're more than just your thought process. It's fundamentally important to live a successful and happy life that you understand you, the true you, your purpose in life, where you're going, because understanding the true you and your identity will allow you and guide you in every single aspect of your life, whether it's fun and recreation, whether it's relationships and romance, whether it's career or business. Ask yourself this, if I was to ring five of your friends and ask them who you are, what would their response be? Would you be happy with that response? What can you do today to change that response? Start by listing the qualities that you want to have. Think about how you want to be remembered. Not just today, but if you were to leave a current job role. How would your fellow colleagues think about you? How would they describe you? And would you be happy with that answer? The importance of identity goes beyond just now, the you that you are in the current state. Work on this. This is an evolution of the true you. Who you are today is not going to be who you are tomorrow because you're certainly not the person you were when you were 15, when you were five. You have evolved as a result of some external factors. Ask yourself this, who are you? The answer of which you give will be reflected in every single aspect of your life going forward. Make sure you like that answer because it's the foundation stone and the cornerstone of your legacy of your temple. When changing your life, you must start first with yourself. Everything else will flow on, and every change then will be congruent with the true you. There are three aspects to being the true you, and it's important that you understand these. The first is the you that you were told you are. This is likely to evolve over time from your childhood, from your parents, from your work colleagues. This may have some limitations and certainly have limiting beliefs, limiting values. It may be stopping you from taking the next step forward in a career, in a relationship, or whatever aspect of your life. Who you are told you are is not who you are. It's simply a character that you have played out. You are more than that. The second is who you think and believe you are. This is based on your internal representation of those external beliefs. It's how you've represented, represented, the situations and the beliefs of others. If you are told over a certain amount of time that you can't do something by somebody else, it's not going to be long before you start to believe that that is true. But you are more than that. The third aspect is who you truly are, and the most critical one. This is the person and the place where change will happen. Work on changing the true you. And the only way you can do that is by understanding and identifying who you really are. Write a list, as I've said. List all of the reasons why you should be that person and how you can be that person. Understand the value and the reasons why you want to be that person. Start today thinking about how you can be the person you want. 
how you can create a purpose-driven life, how you can leave a legacy to be proud of. Don't be the person that looks back in 50 years from now and regrets and says, what if? Take action today to be a better you. Live a life with purpose and ensure that the legacy is strong enough to motivate you whatever you choose.